Chad Brendo, Bearcat Journal here with, uh, with Mike Brown, wide receivers coach. Coach, important camp for you. Um, how do you feel like you guys are, are positioned coming in and from what you've seen through the first four days? Uh, I've been really pleased with what I've been seeing. There's a lot of competition at every single position. And, you know, guys are taking ownership and, um, you know, we're doing a great job of just building a brotherhood within the room. And everybody's got, you know, understanding, hey, man, we all got one common goal, and that's to win. Right? And then going out there, learning how to finish, uh, learning how to compete on every single play. And the effort's been great. Um, you know, there's the guys are learning me, still learning me, and um, continuing to learn some of the techniques and things that uh, I'm teaching. But, you know, it's, it's very, um, it's good to see them really trying to apply the technique and, and take advantage of some things. So I think they're doing a good job. One guy that's kind of jumped out the first couple of days is maybe the guy that had the best spring, Alec Pierce. Um, he's continued that. Is the big thing for him just consistently coming out here and showing he can be kind of that, that number one guy day in and day out? Yeah, I think Alec's done a really, really good job. He's, he's progressed and he's developed. You know, he's night and day from, you know, when I first got here. I don't know where he was last year, but since I've gotten here, he's continued to get got better and better and better. And he works his tail off, comes out every single day to work. And, um, you know, like anybody else, he's got to continue to be consistent. Um, you know, and he'll gain, continue to gain more and more trust from the quarterbacks. And um, he'll continue to make plays. So I have confidence in him. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he's gaining his confidence and uh, we'll keep this thing rolling. You've got two guys, maybe your best two guys in the slot with, with uh, Medeiros and, and Jason Jackson. Is there a way that you get both of them on the field at the same time? I mean, how do you, you handle, you know, that, that dynamic of having those two guys kind of in the same spot? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll do some things where, you know, we may mix up some personnel packages and things like that to try to get those guys on the field at the same time and, you know, put them in positions to be successful. But, you know, it's just really good to be able to have two deep at a position with that much talent. And, and both of those guys are smart and they're extremely hard workers and they love each other and they're competing every single day. You know, so that's all we can really ask for. It looks like Trey Tucker not, not afraid to mix it up in that, that position as well. Yeah, no doubt, man. Those, the older guys are doing a great job of just leading him and, and teaching him and um, he's done a great job coming in and just embracing and, and things we're asking him to do and learning and um, obviously he's really fast and uh, you know we'll try to do some things to take advantage of it. who uh, on the outside guys who else do you think in your eyes so far has stepped up or has started to take a step ahead as camp's been going yeah you know two guys that come to mind in that boundary position um, uh, Trent Cloud I think he's done a really good job here this summer um, and then gotten here into camp um, and then Malik, Malik Mose, he's, you know, showed up some as well. And Javon Halls, all three of those guys are just competing. And they're coming out, working their tail off. So it'll be an interesting, uh, interesting camp for them. And we'll let them battle it out and see who, who rises to the top. I mean, as a coach, you got to love that. you got competition at all three spots. And you get every day, you get a chance to push your guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. I push them and they push each other. That's the most important thing. So this is your uh, first time out here. First time out here. What, what do you think? What, what's, what's your first impression? It's awesome, man. I, you know, I really, really love it. Just being able to come out here and just focus. It's just football, you know, and it's just us. It's just the guys. You know, it's just the coaches. You know, we just spend time, and, and I think it really builds that family, you know, that we talk about, that team. You know, the team is what we preach. Together, everyone achieves more. You know, that's, that's what we're built on. And um, this is just an opportunity for us to just expand on that and continue to grow these relationships and, and grow with one another. So it's great. You ever been? at a place like this before in your football journey? Anything like this? Yeah, nothing like this. You know, I've been to, uh, we've been down to Wofford when I was in Carolina. We did a uh, training camp there, but to be like totally secluded and, you know, have a nice little... Hidden in the woods. Hidden in the woods, right. <laughs> you know, and, and the people here have been great, you know, just very, very friendly and helping us out and everything. Have you had the food yet? I have. I have food. Unbelievable. That, that's what everybody talks about. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, Unbelievable. Coach. Thanks. All right, thanks.